So, the final lecture uh, in this series is on this spectrum of special matrices, spectrum of special matrices and positive definite and negative definite matrices or that is positive or negative definite matrices. So, here we shall discuss about the spectrum of some special matrices. Spectrum of a matrix means that is the set of all eigenvalues of the matrix. So, for any square matrix, for any square matrix A, the spectrum of A usually it is denoted by sigma A is the set of all eigenvalues of A. So, here we shall discuss about the nature of the spectrum of some special matrices like Hermitian matrices, unitary matrices, etcetera. So, first recall that a symmet a matrix that is square matrix, a square matrix A is called symmetric if A transpose is equal to A and a square matrix with complex entries or in other words a square matrix A in C n cross n that is A is a matrix of size n by n with complex entries is called Hermitian. If A conjugate transpose is equal to A that we have already seen before the meaning of this conjugate transpose that we take conjugate of complex conjugate of entries in A and then we take its transpose. Further this A is called Q Hermitian, A is called Q Hermitian if this A conjugate transpose is equal to minus A. This also we are having other kind of matrices that we will discuss, but before that let us see one example that a real matrix is Hermitian if and only if it is symmetric, but the this is not true for complex matrices. So, let us see one example that this matrix A with entries that 1 i i 1 this is symmetric matrix, this is a symmetric matrix, but not Hermitian that one can check easily because this A conjugate if we take then we get 1 minus i minus i 1 
and A conjugate transpose that is also we get that 1 minus i minus i 1. So, this is not equal to the matrix A, therefore, it is not a Hermitian matrix. On the other hand, let us take this matrix B with entries that 1 i minus i 1. So, this is a Hermitian matrix, this is a Hermitian matrix, Hermitian but not symmetric. So, in, in a complex case matrices may be symmetric, but they are not Hermitian and matrices may be Hermitian some matrices and they may not be symmetric. So, uh, we will have also different uh, my kind of mat special matrices that that is called unitary matrix. So, a matrix A in C n cross n that means, n by n square matrix with complex entries is called unitary, unitary matrix if A conjugate transpose times A is equal to A times this A conjugate transpose is equal to this identity matrix, n by n identity matrix or that is same as, that is same as a conjugate transpose is equal to A inverse. Further, this real unitary matrices, they are called orthogonal matrices. Real unitary matrices, unitary matrices are called orthogonal matrices. So, here we shall discuss about the property of eigenvalues or spectrum of Hermitian matrices and unitary matrices. So, in this case we consider this, since we are dealing with Hermitian matrices, they are complex matrices with complex entries and unitary matrices also they are complex matrices. So, we consider the inner product, the standard inner product on the C n. So, recall that the standard inner product on C n, the standard inner product on C n is given by this x y inner product of x y is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n x i y i bar, where this x is consist of this x 1 x 2 to x n and this y its components are y 1, y 2 to y n are vectors in C n. So, this standard inner product can also be expressed in this way. So, here we write this x and y we can take them as their transpose or in other words let us take. So, if 
we take x as this vector that x 1 column vector basically x 1 x 2 to x n and y as this column vector y 1 y 2 to y n then this inner product of x and y can be represented as y conjugate transpose times this vector x. So, we shall use this inner product in this form. So, let us have an uh, result for matrices. So, that we shall use frequently. So, consider this for any matrix A in C n cross C n, we have A x inner product of A x with y that is that will be equal to inner product of x and conjugate transpose of A multiplied with y. So, this is true for every x and y in this C n. So, this is quite useful. Of course, it not difficult to check this. Easily one can verify like this. Let us start with this inner product A x and A conjugate transpose times y. So, from the definition of standard inner product in C n, we can write this A conjugate transpose y, this whole conjugate and transpose this multiplied with x. So, if we consider conjugate transpose of this quantity, then we get conjugate transpose of y and this conjugate transpose of conjugate transpose of a, this will be a again. So, we get this a x and that is exactly the inner product of A x with y. So, this is a quite useful that means, it says that if we consider this inner product A x y, I mean A is multiplied with x, this matrix A is multiplied with x and inner product of A x y, this will be equal to that if we take, like to take the matrix A to the second component, then we have to consider its complex conjugate transpose, conjugate transpose of this matrix A. So, using this property, we shall study about the nature of spectrum of Hermitian matrices and that is given in this theorem. So, it says that we consider a ma Hermitian matrix A belongs to this C n cross n, n by n square matrix with complex entries, B a Hermitian matrix, B a Hermitian matrix. Then we, uh, we have the following results. First one is the eigenvalues of A are real. The eigenvalues of values of A are real. Even if this matrix A is a complex matrix, all its eigenvalues are real. So, 
the eigen vectors corresponding to distinct eigen values of A are orthogonal with respect to the standard inner product in C n. Earlier we have seen that eigen values corresponding to distinct the, the eigen vectors corresponding to distinct eigen values are linearly independent, but here the eigen vectors corresponding to distinct eigen values of Hermitian matrices are orthogonal. So, this second property is this eigen vectors corresponding to distinct eigen vectors, eigen distinct eigen values of A are orthogonal with respect to the standard inner product in C n, inner product of C n. So, to prove this, we consider eigenvalues, let alpha and beta be eigenvalues of A with eigenvectors u and v respectively. So, then next we consider uh, here this inner product. Of course, uh, this means that that is this A times u is equal to alpha u and this A times this b will be equal to beta v. So, next we consider this inner product say alpha times inner product of u and b that is from this property of inner product, we can write inner product of alpha u and v and this alpha u is equal to a u and this is b. So, this can be written as from the lemma that inner product of u a conjugate transpose times v and this is equal to inner product of u and inner product this a v because a is Hermitian. This is this we get because a is Hermitian and then this inner product is equal to u and a v that is equal to beta v. So, if we take this scalar out then we get its complex conjugate beta bar times inner product of u and v. So, this whole thing implies that we get alpha minus beta bar times inner product of u and v that is equal to 0. So, let us say this be equation 1. So, if we take alpha equal to beta, then u equal to v and 1 will be this alpha minus alpha bar multiplied with inner product of u with itself that is equal to 0, but u is a non-zero vector. So, since u is not equal to 0, we get 
this alpha minus alpha bar is equal to 0 and this implies that alpha is equal to alpha bar. So, this says that alpha is a real number. So, from here we get that all eigenvalues of a Hermitian matrix are real numbers. So, next if alpha and beta are distinct, they are different eigenvalues, then this alpha minus beta bar is not equal to 0 and from 1 we get this inner product of u v is equal to 0 that is u and v are orthogonal u and v are orthogonal so it says that the eigen vectors corresponding to distinct eigen values are orthogonal and this is how we prove this result next since we are discussing about uh, the nature of eigen values of hermitian matrices here we can also see the nature of eigen values of uh, skew hermitian matrices so the theorem says the nature of Eigen values of skew Hermitian matrices. So, the Eigen values of skew Hermitian matrices are 0 or pure imaginary, skew Hermitian matrices are 0 or pure imaginary, purely imaginary numbers. So, this can be checked in the following way, this is analogous to the proof of the previous theorem. So, let us consider A B a skew Hermitian matrix. Q Hermitian matrix and this alpha b an eigenvalue, alpha b an eigenvalue of A with an eigenvector u, with an eigenvector u. Then we get in the similar way that alpha u u is equal to this alpha u u and that is equal to a u u this inner product and from that lemma we get inner product of u a conjugate transpose times u and since this A is Q Hermitian that we get minus A times U and this is we get U and this A U is equal to alpha U, U so minus alpha times U and that is equal to we get this minus alpha its conjugate u u. So, from here we get since this u is not equal to 0, we get this alpha is equal to minus alpha bar or complex conjugate of alpha that is alpha bar is equal to minus alpha that means whenever we are taking complex conjugate we are getting the negative of that complex number that is minus alpha 
So, this says that this says that alpha is either 0 or pure imaginary. So, this is how we uh, prove that the eigenvalues of skew Hermitian matrices are 0 or pure imaginary numbers. So, next we shall discuss about the nature of eigenvalues of unitary matrices. So, that, that again we write as a result that it says that eigenvalues of eigenvalues of unitary matrices unitary matrices have unitary matri matrices have absolute value 1 absolute value 1 that is if alpha is an eigen value of a unitary matrix then absolute value of alpha is equal to 1. So, let us consider let A belongs to the C n cross n be unitary, be a unitary matrix and alpha be an eigenvalue of a with eigenvector x say. So, now we have this A x is equal to alpha x taking conjugate transpose on both sides that A x its conjugate and then transpose similarly on the right hand side conjugate transpose. So, we get that x conjugate transpose times this conjugate transpose of A this is equal to this alpha bar and conjugate transpose of x. Since alpha is a scalar, its transpose is itself. So, no point of taking transpose of this scalar quantity or we can write this as x conjugate transpose of x and conjugate transpose of A that is equal to A inverse because A is a unitary matrix. So, conjugate of alpha conjugate transpose of T. So, this is true because A is unitary. So, the next we shall multiply both sides by A x. So, multiplying both sides by A x we get this a conjugate transpose of A x A inverse multiplied by A x is equal to alpha bar conjugate transpose of x times A x or this A inverse A that is equal to identity. So, therefore, we get this conjugate transpose of x conjugate transpose of x times x is equal to this a x value of a x is equal to alpha x. So, we get this alpha alpha bar conjugate transpose of x times alpha x this is 
because a x is equal to alpha x. So, now this alpha alpha bar will be equal to mod alpha square or we get this x conjugate transpose of x times x is equal to mod alpha square times conjugate transpose of x times x. Of course, this is equal to norm of x square or we get this norm of x square is equal to mod alpha square norm of x square. So, since this x is a non-zero vector, we get mod alpha square is equal to 1 or mod alpha is equal to 1 and this proves the result that the eigenvalues of unitary matrices have absolute value equal to 1. So, another important result that we can prove for Hermitian matrices is that the Hermitian matrices are diagonalizable. So, this is one important property of Hermitian matrices that Hermitian matrices are diagonalizable, gonalizable. So, in this case, we saw that for any Hermitian matrix, no generalized eigenvalue of type 2 or more will exist. So, let us consider let A be a Hermitian matrix. So, our claim is that A has no generalized eigenvalue of type 2. A has no generalized eigenvalue of type 2. So, if this claim is true, then we cannot have generalized eigenvalues of type k, k greater than or equal to 3. So, if the claim is true, then a cannot have generalized eigenvalue, generalized eigenvalue of type k, k greater than or equal to 3, because that if this matrix A has a generalized eigenvalue of type k, k greater than or equal to 3, then the chain generated by the corresponding eigen vector will contain an uh, eigen vector. This uh, sorry, this will be eigen vector. This we can write as eigen vector. So, cannot have generalized eigen vector of type k for k greater than or equal to 3. So, if this has a generalized eigen vector of type k, k greater than or equal to 3, then the, gen, the chain generated by this generalized eigen vector will contain an eigen vector, generalized eigen vector of type 2 and that will contradict to this uh, claim. Uh, can have cannot have a generalized eigen vector of type k therefore so let us prove this claim once so we prove this claim is true then this matrix a will have only generalized eigen vectors of type 1 so they are 
those generalized eigen vectors of type 1 are nothing but ordinary eigen vectors. So, this matrix A will have therefore, n number of eigen vectors, they are distinct eigen vectors and they are all linearly independent and hence this will be diagonalizable. So, let us prove the claim. So, to prove the claim consider that to prove the claim or uh, let us consider that let x be a generalized eigen vector of A of type 2. So, that is this A minus lambda i whole square x is equal to 0, but a minus lambda i x is not equal to 0, where lambda is an eigenvalue and x be uh, an eigenvector corresponding to an eigenvector corresponding to this is generalized eigenvector, generalized eigenvector corresponding to this lambda. So, here we get that this 0 is equal to inner product of x and 0 and in plus in place of this 0 we can write a minus lambda i whole square x or from that lemma we can write this a minus lambda i its conjugate transpose times x a minus lambda i times x this inner product and this is same as that a minus lambda i x and this inner product a minus lambda i x because the conjugate transpose of a minus lambda i is equal to a minus lambda i. This is true because this A is a Hermitian matrix, its conjugate transpose will be A again and lambda is real. So, this is true uh, because lambda is this scalar, uh, this scalar that is real that A conjugate transpose is equal to A, lambda is uh, real and this identity matrix is obviously uh, satisfy that its conjugate transpose is again itself or in other words we get. So, this a minus lambda i x is equal to 0. So, this is a contradiction. So, this is a contradiction because our assumption was that this a minus lambda i x this is not equal to 0. So, this shows that a cannot have any generalized eigenvalue of type 2 or more. So, all generalized eigenvalue are type 1 which are exactly ordinary eigenvectors. So, therefore, A will have n number of linearly independent eigenvectors and hence this A is diagonalizable. So, next we shall uh, see this uh, positive and 
negative positive or negative definite matrices. So, for this we shall define one terminology that is called Hermitian form. So, let A belongs to this C n cross n or this is a matrix of size n with complex entries. Then the expression the expression A x x that is equal to A conjugate transpose A times x for x belongs to this complex uh, this C n is called the Hermitian form associated with the matrix A called the Hermitian form associated with A this associated with this matrix A with the Hermitian form associated with A if A is a Hermitian matrix and this is called quadratic form if A is a symmetric matrix, if A is a symmetric matrix then this A x x is called quadratic form so this uh, symmetric matrix symmetric real matrix in fact then this is called quadratic form associated with a so next we shall define this positive and negative definite matrices. So, this we de defined in terms of this forms. So, let us consider a Hermitian matrix. So, a Hermitian matrix, Hermitian matrix A belongs to this C n cross n is said to be said to be positive definite def if the corresponding form corresponding form a x x this inner product of A x x is strictly greater than 0 for every non zero x in C n and this is A is said to be negative definite said to be negative definite if this corresponding form A x x A x x this is strictly less than 0 for A pre non zero x in C n. We also define that positive semi definite matrices. So, 
in a, this A is called positive semi definite semi definite if this corresponding form a x x is greater than or equal to 0 for every x in c n. So, here this x may be taken as 0 vector. So, similarly one can also define this negative sem semi definite matrices. So, let us see one example of this positive definite matrices. So, this example shows that here we consider a matrix so that this matrix A with entries 2 i minus i 2 is positive definite. So, for this we have to verify that the corresponding form A x x is greater than 0 for non 0 x. So, let us consider this vector x is x 1 x 2 with of course, this is in C 2 and this x is not equal to 0 vector. So, now we consider this form A x x and this can be uh, written in from the definition of this inner product that x conjugate transpose times a x or this is equal to conjugate of x 1 conjugate of x 2 and this matrix A that is 2 i minus i 2 multiplied with x 1 x 2. So, this on simplification or on multiplication multiplying these matrices we get that this is equal to 2 times x 1 x 1 bar plus i times x 1 bar x 2 minus i times x 1 x 2 bar plus twice of x 2 x 2 bar or rearranging the terms we can write this as x 1 x 1 bar plus x 1 plus i x 2 multiplied with x 1 plus i x 2 its conjugate one can adjust these terms and get like this x 2 x 2 bar and this is exactly the x 1 mod square plus x 1 plus i x 2 it is mod square because they are complex numbers plus x 2 mod square and this is strictly greater than 0 because x is not equal to 0. This is strictly greater than 0 because this x is not equal to 0 x that is x 1 and x 2 are not equal to 0 simultaneously 
not equal to 0 simultaneously so here whatever may be the uh, values of x1 and x2 or whatever this x i mean that is of course non zero we can show that this quantity that x bar transpose a x that is always greater than 0 so therefore this matrix a is a positive definite matrix so similarly one proves for uh, that negative definite matrices or positive semi definite matrices so next let us state that the nature of next uh, let us state the nature of eigen values of positive definite matrices and negative definite matrices and uh, of course we shall not prove this result just we shall state the nature of the eigen values of positive definite matrices and negative definite matrices so let a be a hormesian matrix and matrix then we will have the following a is positive definite if and only if if and only if its eigen values are positive its eigen values are positive it says that for a positive definite matrix all its eigen values are positive and for any hermitian matrix if its eigen values are positive then the matrix will be a positive definite matrix similarly a the second one is like this a is negative definite if and only if its eigen values are negative its eigen values are negative so for ne negative definite matrices all its eigen values are negative and on the other way that if for a hermitian matrix all its eigen values are negative then the matrix will be a negative definite matrix so one can prove these re these results also easily and uh, here we skip this proof and that, that's all for this lecture and we stop here